watching India's longest running show on young entrepreneurs, Young Turks. Now our next guest, 41-year-old Nadeem Jafri, would not strike you as a quintessential entrepreneur. After studying retail management, Nadeem spent years in the advertising world in Mumbai and it wasn't until the Gujarat riots of 2002 that Nadeem decided to give his corporate career a pass and turn entrepreneur. He set up Hearty Mart with the idea of giving Gujaratis the experience of a supermarket. Today, Nadeem has created hope where there was only despair. I have set up my first Hadimat supermarket here. February 2004 may not have been the best time to take the entrepreneurial plunge in the Juhapura neighborhood of Ahmedabad. The nightmare of the worst communal rights that Gujarat saw eclipsed normal life. Juhapura became home to five lakh refugees, making it the largest Muslim neighborhood in Gujarat. Thousands of kilometers away in Mumbai, Nadeem Jafri grew wary of his job at an advertising firm and decided to take the entrepreneurial route. <coughs> Enamored by a big bazaar experience in Mumbai, Nadeem decided to start up Hearty Mart, a supermarket at Vishala Circle on the edge of the neighborhood. Nadeem saw opportunity where others saw only despair. He bet on his relatively prosperous Chilean Muslim community to support the venture and raise capital from friends and relatives. He is Sabir Bhai. He helped me set up this business. He is with me since inception. Yet after eight months, he was back to looking at classifieds. This was again in 2004. Uh, for uh, around eight months, I was in sabbatical. I was working with an advertising agency called Grey Worldwide. I was there uh, for almost five, six years. I left the job and started my Hearty Mart in Ahmedabad, Johapura. For eight months, I was not working anywhere. Uh, then once I felt that my team is equipped enough to run the shop, I uh, quit uh, and rejoined Times of India uh, as a marketing manager and later on I was called back by Grey Worldwide to work again in the same advertising agency. See any business, business takes its own sweet time to be into a profit making uh, unit and Hearty Mart was no exception. But like any fledgling startup, progress was slow. Having used every tactic in the book, including customer loyalty programs and home delivery services to make profits, Hearty Mart still required sales worth 3.75 lakh rupees a month to break even, and even that was proving to be a stretch. That led to the birth of Hearty Mart Enterprises, a wholesale food and grocery supplier to hotels. Nadeem's argument was that since his community was running hotels, it would be easier for him to find takers. The gamble paid off and set the cash registers ringing. And not just food and groceries, Nadeem has also taken Hearty Mart down the route of logistics and tea production. Hearty Mart Logistics works as a stockist for popular bakeries around Gujarat and Daybreak is the Hearty Mart tea brand being sold both off shelves and to hotels and restaurants. In the pipeline is also Nadeem's own food label, Good Times. I am also launching my own brand. This is where we manufacture our private labor. But while all is hearty now, Nadeem tells us about the challenges of setting up his first venture. Uh, hearty Mart, since we started in Johapura, it was uh, the area which was uh, uh, supposed to be a very negative area, a non-business friendly area. So this took us a lot of time to convince even to suppliers to come to us. There were get-togethers which we organized. Even the, uh, uh, the Vishala circle where exact Early Hearty Mart is located, uh, was a newly developed area and uh, the uh, residents had come from other areas. So they were, were never patronizing the locality and hence they never patronize our store. And patience does pay. Nadeem's initial capital of 62 lakh rupees has now seen a return of 15 crores. Nadeem tells us the differentiator came when he decided to take the franchisee route and in 2007 he set up Hearty Mart's first franchisee store in Ilol, a large village surrounded by a number of smaller villages. In doing so, Nadeem empowered several entrepreneurs from his community. In Dholka, one of the oldest municipal towns of Gujarat, where Hearty Mart's 11th franchisee stands out against the village facade. He's Sadiq, he's working partner with our Dolga franchisee. 
which is a small town in Ahmedabad district. As on date, we have 11 franchises now. Charging a one-time fee of 15,000 rupees from a franchisee, Nadim takes 0.5% of royalty on profits from the second year onwards. We had uh, one case study in uh, Johapura. Uh, with this learning, we went there, we trained them. In fact, in certain cases, all franchisee uh, uh, owners were called at my shop. They were trained on uh, modern uh, techniques of organized retailing like operating computers and analyzing data and uh, even negotiating with vendors. So this helped us a lot. And sticking to his belief that the franchisee route is the way to go for Hearty Mart, Nadeem now wants to bring Hearty Mart to neighborhoods in Maharashtra and Rajasthan. He knows the challenges will now be capturing other demographics and blurring the lines of caste and religion when it comes to his customer base. But for this avid blogger, a pan-India presence is the ultimate dream. Nadeem here is wishing you and Hearty Math the very best of luck. We hope that your expansion plans are successful. On that note, it's time for a break. When we return, the story of a young entrepreneurial duo who are biting into India's booming F&B space.